Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning, here tonight to chat about this new Tim Hecker album, Anoyo. Tim Hecker is a Canadian ambient and electronic artist, and one of the great ones, to be honest. His early days, though, took me a little while to get into. I mean, Haunt Me, Haunt Me, Do It Again, and Radio or More aren't exactly bad albums. But for me, I feel like at the time, Tim was sort of still getting his town down to a T. And while 2004's Mirages wasn't exactly a perfect album, it showed Tim really getting to like where he wanted to be. Still a very glitchy, very ambient album, but this overwhelming darkness that sort of floated over everything made me really fall in love. And then with his next album, Harmony and Ultraviolet, I feel like I finally got Tim Hecker's music. This was the sound that I was hoping Tim would go in, bringing in elements of noise, bringing in elements of drone, and layers upon layers upon layers of fascinating sounds. Sure, it's a very dark and overpowering album, but in this sort of experimental, ambient, electronic genre, it's actually one of my favorites of the last few years. An Imaginary Country, while not as stunning overall, was still a very lovely album. And Rave Death 1972 sort of took the best of everything Tim had been working on the last few years. And of course, this album here, Virgins, while not as heavy or as glitchy, is an experimental and ambient masterpiece. But recently, Tim's work has been kind of waiting on me a little bit. 2016's Love Streams is far from a bad album. It's still very warm and very beautiful. But nothing about this album is, like, shocking or anything new from Tim. And last year's Kanoyo, the sister album of this one here that we're going to chat about, is all right. But I feel like I had to do so much digging here. But these new singles for me have been pretty fascinating, for better and for worse. Let's chat about this. This album starts off with That World. And if you listened to Kanoyo last year, you're going to realize a lot of the same sounds are actually appearing here. It's very fluid, very serene. That being said, I have a lot of the same issues here that I did on his last album. Tim's music isn't easy to get into. Nothing really ever jumps out at you. But with this track, I just feel like I have to do so much digging, way more than I'm used to. This atmosphere that Tim has put together is intriguing, but it really doesn't move me nearly as much as I hoped. No, it just sort of bounces around from sound to sound, not really building on any of them. Just out of reach, there do seem to be some incredibly lavish instrumentals that I could really get to, but I feel like I have to reach way too far for them. And by the time this track actually gets interesting and Tim brings in some of the more serene instrumentals here, I feel like he's kind of missed the boat. Like, this is a nine-minute track, but I don't really feel anything moving until at least after five minutes. Sure, after that, things get pretty moving and start to really sit with you, but it certainly does take a while. No, it's in moments like this that I kind of have to say to myself, of course this sound wasn't approached on his Kanoyo album from last year. Not alone later on in the album. Pretty boring, actually. Once again, this is a very stark, very quiet tune. It's just so grim, so quiet, so unbelievably intensely quiet at that. And when these drums come in, things get pretty intense. But this track to me just doesn't leave anything to the imagination, especially when it comes to how brilliant Tim's work has been for years. Like, this track has potential, but it just ends up being so tuneless. You Never Were, on the other hand, is a little bit more compelling. There are certainly, once again, tons of elements that showed up on his Kanoyo album. But while this is a much better track, I once again feel like this doesn't really leave up much of the imagination. It's still not as tuneful as I hoped either, but if you do sit with this one, this one is absolutely a big step in the right direction. Like, I don't think this track is, like, the best track here or anything like that, but Tim is at least here showing what he does best. Now, this is a pretty short album for Tim at only six tracks, but the rest of this album is actually a whole lot more compelling and stuff that I really wish he did more with. Take, for example, Is But A Simulated Blur. I mean, this is much more of a stark, in-your-face track. It's just so quiet. Once again, almost too quiet. But Tim very quickly adds in layer after layer of synth and intense drum after intense drum. See, here, even though this is an instrumental track with no lyrics, none of Tim's work is, he just seems to me to have so much more to say. It's also, but it's just so gutting at the end of the day. Not to mention the progression here is unbearable. It starts off as this unbearably quiet track, but it builds into something so much more intense, so much in your face, so much so that it's jaw-dropping. Honestly, it just reminds me of everything I've ever loved about Tim's music. And with Step Away from Kanoyo, the title actually says it all. This is a major detour from Tim's last few years, and just a real reminder of what made him so great to begin with. It's sort of a throwback to Virgins in a way. It's so simple, but if you really listen, it's incredibly intricate. That terror in the shadows feel is definitely on tap, but it's just so beautiful and immersive, though. It's absolutely gorgeous, but intensely dark. I just can't help but just get swept up in this. 
and honestly, Into the Void takes me back even further, almost to like Harmony and Ultraviolet days. It's glitchy and it's wonky and it's very hard to place. But there's a weird warmness to this track that does calm me down, very deep down. It's also very immediate, which really just makes me damn happy, especially after I had to dig so hard on some of these tracks. But trust me, this is still very much so a Tim Hecker track. I mean, those keyboards, they don't even sound of this world. Like, it's unreal to think that one human being did this, and that's what I love about Tim's music. So yeah, for a Tim Hecker album, this is sort of a mixed bag, kind of like Kanoyo from last year. I don't think it's that bad. As a matter of fact, the tracks that are good here remind me of everything that I once truly loved about Tim Hecker. Yeah, there's a few tracks here that I feel like Tim maybe was thinking about putting on Kanoyo, but left them off for very good reason. But outside of that, I mean, hey, if you're into Tim's work, you should definitely give this a try. And some of the deep cuts here actually really like show great signs of progression for the future for Tim. I'm feeling a light 7 on this album, but let me know what you guys think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, guys.